for the introduction and i would like to thank organizers for such a wonderful opportunity and the conference uh, so okay um, i'll be talking about the um, quantum uh, zeno effect uh, so uh, it is related to the uh, miserable behavior of time in quantum mechanics so generally as a human being uh, we uh, what time for us is uh, we dream our dreams uh, we live with joy and sorrow uh, then we confront the, uh, confront the incomprehensibility of our existence and uh, we know the life by that so but uh, uh, on the at the same time time has unique role to play in uh, quantum physics so uh, quantum in quantum mechanics we have a time evolution operator Uh, generally classically the system decays exponentially but in quantum mechanics we have a schrodinger equation uh, which gives us the uh, time evolution operator which is unitary and uh, which tells us uh, about the dynamics of uh, any quantum mechanical system so uh, for the intermediate time quantum system decays exponentially uh, for very short or very long time the decay is not exponential and in the short time regime some very interesting results can be found so here we are dealing only with the short time regime uh, suppose we have um, a hamiltonian of a uh, given quantum system which is in the state uh, phi and uh, h sorry h is the time independent and the time evolution of phi is then given by the unitary operator acting on phi so uh, here the i have taken h cross as one unit uh, numerically so uh, then the survival probability for this kind of system is uh, the square of the expectation value of unitary operator so uh, which actually is the product of these two terms uh, then by expanding further we get uh, the survival probability as 1 minus delta h square t square so interestingly the survival probability has a quadratic time dependence for small time now if the measurement is performed n times at regular intervals of t by n over a time span t then the survival probability will become uh, 1 minus delta h square t by n square upon h cross square raised to uh, n so now for the limit n tends to infinity this probability Uh, this survival probability will tend to one so under the continual observation the initial state has not decayed at all so uh, this is the quantum zeno effect uh, uh, well why the name zeno zeno was the greek philosopher and famous for his arrow paradox which can be stated as at every moment of time a moving arrow occupies a definitive position so at every moment the arrow is at rest same as not decaying of a system so this arrow will never reach to this man because we are observing observing it for the every interval of time uh, this paradox has another name called turing paradox uh, named after uh, alan turing uh, so uh, the kind of same statement um, it is so it is easy to show using standard theory that if a system starts in an eigen state of some observable and measurements are made of that observable n times a second then even if the state is not stationary one the probability that the station, uh, the system will be in the same state after say 1 second tends to 1 as n tends to infinity so the continual observations will prevent motion i uh, has Uh, also uh, this paradox is famous as watched pot phenomenon so watching pot will never boil uh, liquid in it so uh, uh, but uh, well the merely observing uh, any pot will uh, will not affect the time uh, uh, time uh, it takes to boil the liquid so that is why maybe zeno or here is uh, looking so scared that when this man is asking do you still claim that this arrow will remain still when i let go the bow string <laughs> but uh, 
but uh, uh, yes quantum mechanically such systems uh, do exist uh, the uh, mishra and sudarshan were the first to provide a rigorous mathematical definition and introduce the notion of quantum zeno paradox let us have a few examples suppose we have two uh, uh, polarized photons as a system with two states uh, one zero as original and zero one is decay so and let us choose the effective hamiltonian as uh, uh, in terms of pauli spinor and uh, so we expected that its acting on initial state will give me the uh, decayed state so if i uh, uh, expand the uh, time evolution of op evolution operator in terms of taylor series and uh, uh, and uh, if i include the h uh, as this one so uh, then i'll get the uh, matrix uh, which is unitary matrix and if i operate it on the initial state i'll get as cos omega t and uh, sin omega t so this can be further uh, written as uh, cos omega t uh, uh, initial state and sin omega t final state so for small times we have quadratic decay law here again uh, so the, the, this is the second example where we have vertically polarized uh, uh, light and if i allow it to pass through the polarizer uh, the uh, for the intensity of uh, uh, final uh, light uh, will follow the co usual cosine square law so i0 is the initial intensity and alpha is the uh, uh, angle uh, by which the polarization plane changes so and at the final stage i have nickel analyzer uh, which projects back to the original polarization state so here i have uh, only one such setup uh, what if i have two of them so uh, uh, the final uh, uh, intensity will be the uh, proportion of uh, fourth power of cos and uh, angle now is the alpha by 2 so interestingly for small alpha uh, i have cos square alpha is 1 minus alpha square then cos to the power 4 alpha by 2 is 1 minus alpha square by 2 uh, then so uh, it is clear that cos raised to the power 4 alpha by 2 is greater than cos square alpha so the evolution slackened over here now if i have n such systems where n tends to infinity so observations uh, are carried out continuously Uh, then it can be shown that cos to the power uh, twice n alpha by n tends to 1 for n tends to infinity so all the light with certainty passes through unaltered in intensity so uh, this is the quantum zeno effect similar experiments uh, has been carried out by uh, quite uh, and others so the experimental realization of the quantum zeno effect was accomplished by making the photon follow a spiral staircase path so that it traverses the polarization rotator six times this is the rotator and then inserting a polarizer next to the rotator uh, this uh, in insertable polarizing beam split splitter so inserting that next to the rotator suppress the rotation of the photon's polarization so uh, the probability again here goes as uh, cosine square law and if i have six such stages then the probability is 66% if i increase uh, such st uh, stages suppose for example for 2500 then the probability is 99.9% so and uh, well for infinite it's 100% uh, there are some applications of zeno effect as well so uh, patel and others um, have carried out the experiment uh, in uh, measurement induced localization of an ultra cold lattice gas so uh, they say uh, to the strong measurement regime where measurement induced localization causes a large suppression of tunneling uh, in an ultra cold lattice gas so this is the manifestation of quantum zeno effect some people have tried protecting entanglement via the quantum zeno effect 
so well okay Th this is dedicated to my friends who are doing phd so this is the zeno's this is paradox uh, if for every n number of errors you correct on your thesis your professor discovers n by 2 number of new errors the number of revisions reaches infinity but i hope this should be not the case for my friends okay i would like to acknowledge uh, icts uh, the organizers of fpqp and uh, uh, my university and my supervisor professor rajiv pathak thank you all for your nice uh, talk we have plenty of time for questions and Uh, yeah, and is, you know, uh, uh, it, it is the reverse process. So we can um, accelerate the decay uh, while observing the system. Any more question? Uh, let's thanks again. Thank you. Thank you very much.